Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be talking about some drama in the Destiny 2 community. If you've been anywhere online, you've probably been seeing a ongoing discussion about Divinity and why it should possibly be nerfed, or at least changed. And I'm going to be weighing in in my opinions about this discussion and what I think should happen with Divinity. I'm also going to be delving into the topic of Well of Radiance and my opinions of where that super ability should be placed in the meta since it's, in my opinion, a very similar discussion to the Divinity one. So I'm kind of throwing myself into the fire here, but it is what it is. Let's get into the video. This whole discussion started when the three times world first champion, Salta Greppo, went to Twitter and posted his opinions about Divinity and why he thinks it should be nerfed or at least receive some kind of change. The main reason Delta Greppo suggested that Divinity should be nerfed was because of the crit bubble that Divinity provides and why that may trivialize some content and make damage phases a bit too easy as it makes crits too easy to hit and precision weapons too easy to use. Now I'm going to come out and say it that I do agree with Salta Greppo that Divinity should receive a change or maybe a nerf in some way. However, I do disagree with his reasonings. I do not believe the crit bubble is why Divinity should receive a nerf. Where I take most of my issue with Divinity is the 30% debuff the weapon provides. And this debuff can really make this weapon oppressive in the PvE meta. What do I mean by that? If you look at what Divinity does in game, you can see that it does two main things things. First, it provides a giant crit bubble that acts as just a secondary crit spot, and it provides a 30% debuff to that target. And it's that 30% debuff that really makes it difficult to compete with. If you look at the two other main ways of applying debuffs in this game, you have Tractor Cannon and you have Tether. And when you compare these three, you will easily see that Divinity outclasses these two other options in every way. If you look at what Tractor Cannon does, it provides a 30% debuff for 5 seconds seconds to any target it is applied to. However, you pretty much need to be directly next to the target to apply that debuff because Tractor Cannon has such a low range. And Tether is a super ability that can only be applied once and only really lasts up to maybe 10 seconds when applied to a boss. If you compare Tractor and Tether to Divinity, you'll obviously see that Divinity can be applied easier and longer than the other two options could ever dream of. And the fact that Divinity is so easy to use makes the benefits you gain from it even that much more insane. You basically get a free 30% debuff and a free crit spot for using nothing but a special ammo weapon that can hold an insane amount of ammo. And not to mention, special ammo is pretty easy to come by. Should Divinity receive a nerf or some kind of change? In my opinion, yes. The fact that Divinity is so easy to use and the benefits you get are so insane, it makes no sense that it should stay that way in the meta because it is actively pushing things like Tether and Tractor Cannon out of the meta. That's what makes the gun so oppressive. So what would I change about Divinity? Well, I think that one's pretty easy. I would change Divinity so that it can still provide the crit bubble. I have no problem with the crit bubble. I think that's fine, and I think it's a unique part of the weapon. But I do think the debuff Divinity provides should be significantly lower or outright removed. If you were to lower it, I would lower it to, if anything, 10% lower than even the weakened abilities that you can find in Void subclasses. This week, there was a really interesting Reddit post posted to the r slash Destiny of the Game Reddit that detailed trade-offs in this game and why they're really important for balance. And it really, in my opinion, highlights the issue with Divinity and the fact that there are no trade-offs to Divinity. Almost no trade-offs, at least. Like I said earlier, Divinity gives you a very, very long and pretty much free 30% debuff and a free crit spot for almost no effort at all. The only thing you lose is an extra person's damage, which is easily made up through the 30% more damage your allies are dealing. Even if you were to have six people damaging and using something like Tether instead, sure, maybe for the initial 10 seconds you'd be doing more damage, but the second that Tether runs out, your damage kind of tanks. Compared to if one person just uses Divinity on the team, you pretty much have an infinite free debuff which increases your damage overall. So this is where I bridge into the Well of Radiance discussion and why I also believe that needs a nerf through the same idea of that it is too oppressive in the meta and there isn't enough trade-offs in the ability for the benefits it provides. So let's dive into the Well of Radiance discussion and why I believe Well of Radiance kind of needs a nerf, at least in endgame PvE. 
So what does Well of Radiance do? Well of Radiance practically makes you immortal for 30 seconds of unpopping the super, even in contest mode raids. You are basically unkillable inside of a Well of Radiance. And I know a lot of you may hear me say this and disagree and say, you know, in things like GMs, you'll get shredded in a Well of Radiance. However, I honestly kind of disagree with that statement ever since Well of Radiance got a quote nerf last season. And I say quote nerf because I honestly don't believe it was a nerf. Last season, Well of Radiance got a change that removed the overshield that you gain from stepping inside of a Well of Radiance. That was removed last season with the introduction of Soul 3.0. However, Bungie did add, in my opinion, an even greater benefit that replaced the overshield, and that is a free 50% damage reduction upon standing in a Well of Radiance that even stacks with 100 resilience. If you run 100 resilience inside of a Well of Radiance, you get the 50% damage reduction from the Well of Radiance itself, you get the 40% damage reduction from your from resilience, and you get whatever damage reduction you may be getting from your chest resist mods. That is an insane amount of damage resistance on top of constant healing and a 25% damage buff that you receive inside of the well. Once again, this ability is very oppressive to other abilities in the game, mainly to its main competitor, Defender Titan, aka Bubble and Banner Shield. Well of Radiance practically outclasses Bubble in every single way and has effectively pushed Bubble out of the meta in almost all forms of endgame PvE content. Bubble and Well of Radiance provide the same damage buff of 25% increase in damage that do not stack with each other. So if you use Bubble on top of a well, you are basically gaining zero benefits from that bubble itself. In a Well of Radiance, you get the same damage buff as a bubble while being able to shoot freely at a target while inside of a well of Radiance while also gaining insane amount of damage resistance and insane amount of healing at the same time. Well of Radiance is also the easiest way to proc Supreme Wellmaker and generate stasis wells for any stasis wielding people in your fire team, which when paired with Font of Might is one of the highest weapon DPS strategies in the game at the moment. The Well of Radiance provides an insane amount of benefits that push things like Bubble and Banner Shield out of the meta. So do I think Well of Radiance deserves a nerf? Yes, I do. However, I'm not, a I'm not advocating for the super to be murdered by Bungie. I'm honestly just asking for Bungie to either lower the damage buff Well of Radiance provides or to outright remove it. I would say if you're going to lower it, maybe lower it to 15% increase in damage. It's pretty much matching the empowering rift, which would allow Bubble and Banner Shield the place to shine, you know, allowing you to pop Bubble or use Banner Shield, allowing yourself to get an even greater damage buff than what Well of Radiance would provide. Similar to before all the three changes when bubble provided a 35 percent damage increase and well of radiance only provided a 25 you would be able to stack bubble on top of a well to gain that 30 percent damage increase while also getting the survivability of a well it would basically be the same thing except you would just have to shift the values a little bit making well of radiance give you a little bit of a lower damage increase but that would be fine because you would still get the benefits from a bubble and allowing bubble to have a place in the meta but that's basically it uh, those are my opinions. Those are my thoughts. Uh, I know some of you definitely do not agree with me. And I know a lot of you think that Divinity is just fine and Will of Radiance is just fine and they don't deserve a change. And you know what? I respect your opinions and I respect your thoughts. So I hope you respect mine as well. If you're watching this, don't go crazy in the comments. Be respectful. Other than that, I hope you guys have a good day and hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, maybe leave a like and subscribe. Uh, it takes two seconds and you can always change your mind later. Otherwise, much love and peace out.